podcasts are a fantastic way to gain inspiration, learn new things. The main challenge we face is there's just so many of them now. So in this video, I thought I would share five of my favorite podcasts for managers. So if you are already a manager of people, of projects, or want to be, this list is for you. Now, I am a voracious podcast listener and audible listener. Uh, I try and walk every day and I always go out and stick my headphones in and for the best part of an hour have a good old listen. I listen to podcasts when I'm doing jobs around the house, when I'm driving the car. I just love the stimulation and uh, that you get from podcasts and I've listened to a lot. My name is Helen Bryant. I am a coach and a trainer and I focus on management, leadership and collaboration. So this list is curated with you, my audience, in mind to save you time. Now for those of you who've watched me before, you'll notice I've changed location. Um, I'm also, after two and a bit years, uh, have COVID. So I'm here on my sofa where in fact I've spent quite a lot of time in the last week feeling distinctly under the weather. But uh, I thought podcast was a good topic to ease me back into work. Now, a quick word on learning from podcasts. It is very easy to multitask when we're listening or be quite passive in our learning. Now, the real value of so much of the insights that you'll pick up is actually in the doing. So I found that you need some kind of system that helps you capture your learning insights whilst you're on the go in order to then reflect on it and do. That is where the real magic of learning happens when you're trying things out. All I do is I have my reminders and Siri set up into a reminder list called Idea Bucket. And I just ask Siri, so when I'm out on a walk and I hear something interesting, I can say, hey, Siri, set a reminder. And, and then when I get home, or normally actually it's at the end of the week, I review what's in my Idea Bucket. And, uh, and then that kind of takes it into something more active, writing something down, storing something in my notion, move it from a thought into I'm actually doing something with this thought. So remember that when you're listening to podcasts and, and think, what's my system for actually making sure that I do some of this? OK, so that's a tip. Let's get on to the five podcasts I would recommend listening to. The first is Supermanagers. Uh, Supermanagers is hosted by Aidan Merzi. I think that's how you say his name. He, it is a Canadian podcast. He is the founder of Fellow.app, which is one of my favourite apps. It's a meeting app. And I found the podcast after I'd found the app. And uh, I've been listening ever since. So they've just done over 100. I was definitely listening in about the 20s. So I've listened to quite a lot of them now. It's quite tech-centred, so Aidan interviews different people from around the tech industries, and but the lessons of leadership are universal, so there's so much anybody in any industry could learn uh, from it. And the thing I really like about Supermanagers is Aidan's enthusiasm. You really know that at times he's, he's very open and it's like you're learning along with him because when he learns something, it's really clear that he's just, oh, that's a really good point. And he, uh, I just really like it about that. The, the people who he has on, they're always smart, they have great experience and they share their leadership lessons so openly. It's a really valuable resource. Now, if you want an episode to kind of dive in and get a flavour of, one of my favourites is uh, episode, I think it's 42, but it's Darren Murph from GitLab. Now, GitLab is a 100% remote business. And as a result, uh, in this episode, which is called, let me take a note, Short Toes Welcome, all about, it's an embracing transparency, iteration and asynchronous workflows in a, re in a remote world. And really useful episode. If you are working on hybrid or developing hybrid ways of working, really useful episode. And Darren shares some great resources that GitLab make available. I really enjoyed that episode. So yes, the first one, super managers, well worth a lesson. The second one is Squiggly Careers, 
which is hosted by Amazing If. I think the podcast used to be called Amazing If and has changed to Squiggly Careers. I think when I look back, I thought, I didn't think it was called that. But anyway, it's now called Squiggly Careers. And it's only when I was doing this, I even noticed because I just click it on on my subscription. But it's hosted by Helen Topper and Sarah Ellis. They now have a big library of resources, over 250 episodes. Now, by far the majority of the episodes are the two of them talking about a topic and sharing really their top tips to cope with any given situation that a manager may face. Uh, but they also have series where they interview experts. I, I think I prefer where they're just talking. It's very accessible, very practical. And why I think this is a brilliant um, resource for managers is the whole context of squiggly careers, as in fast changing, not staying in the same industry, not staying in the same business, that's long gone. People are permanently adapting within their career. And that's the context, this squiggly career. And I think as a manager, you're coaching and developing your team in that environment. So I think this podcast podcast works both for yourself, but also for your team. And I absolutely know you will find resources that you could just share with your team on a given topic, which you then could talk about in your one-to-one and, and give you something to talk about together. Um, they also have playlists so that you can just see the episodes that go together, which are more broadly themed. Excellent, excellent uh, podcast. As I said, it really depends. On this one, I'm not even going to recommend one. I, I think they're all great, but I would look, I'd go needs-based. What's the topic that you want to learn about and then jump in and focus on that? Uh, it's a great resource. The third podcast I'm going to recommend is Work Life with Adam Grant. Uh, Adam Grant is an American psychologist and academic. He's done like five series and then an interview series, but I like the series. What he does is pick a topic and then he'll interview, say, two or three experts in that area. And then the way he kind of puts all those experts together and highlights the messages is so effective and really thought provoking. Whereas uh, Squiggly Careers is like in, in the action, I think that... Um, Work life with Adam Grant is like standing back. So as a manager and a leader, sometimes you just got to stand back. So a lot of the themes are quite big. and But you can really benefit from standing back and having a think about those. Now, the fourth podcast is called Moonshot. Now, Moonshot, it's Builders Learn Out Loud. It's like being in a book club, a virtual book club. Two Australian hosts, Mike Parsons and Mark, let me check, Pearson Freeland. They take a book. A leadership book and they talk about it and that's why I say it's like being on a book club in fact I have been on um, walking and have literally spoken back to them because I've been so caught in the moment uh, and thinking about what they were they were saying now they have done themes and indeed at the moment they're just finishing off a productivity themed uh, series where they've picked up a lot of the big thinkers on productivity and explored their books and uh, it's been really useful I've just been through that whole series and enjoyed it and it did just before that or maybe it was the start of the productivity I can't quite remember but they did um, two episodes on Stephen R. Covey's Seven Habits for Highly Effective People now that is one of my favorite leadership books I read it way back in the 90s and it's timeless the lessons of it, I probably read it about every other year and every time I take a different lesson out of it depending on where I am and what challenges I'm facing at that time and it was a brilliant exploration. I would say there must be at least two and a half to three hours worth of content in there talking about the themes and that what they also do is they share clips of the author talking and then they talk about that. Great, I found it really stimulating, really enjoy it and uh, would highly recommend it. In, in the same theme of standing back and thinking about things for yourself. This is definitely about learning for yourself. And finally, the fifth podcast I'm going to recommend is called Out of the Comfort Zone with Wanda Wallace. Wanda Wallace is a executive coach and uh, this podcast has been going for years on the Voice America Network. Now, I would say it is 
slightly more orientated to more senior managers and leaders just because I think that's who she coaches and it's also the angle of the lo a lot of the guests she have, has on. So at times I think, although it's builders for everyone, at times I think it is a bit more senior orientated. A lot of the lessons are universal. Now she will interview uh, an expert in the field, they're normally people who've written books, but what Wanda Wallet is absolutely brilliant at, it's like a masterclass in listening and summarising. So unlike some podcast hosts who go off at a tangent or make it more about them, what she does brilliantly is summarise what she's heard and then check is that right. And what it does is really focus the conversation and amplify the important messages and I'm always in awe when she does it because and every time she checks people go that's exactly it she's uh, it's a masterclass in listening and summarizing and um, makes learning from her very easy because the, the messages are so easily amplified so there you go they are the five podcasts I would recommend super managers squiggly careers work life with Adam Grant moonshots and out of the comfort zone with Wanda Wallace. I'm interested in what podcasts you find valuable. So let me know. I would love to increase my repertoire and try more out to find the high quality amongst the high volume of management and leadership podcasts out there. So let me know in the comments or you can reach out to me on social. My links are just here and uh, I would love to talk to you and find out what you think. If you have found this video useful, please subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get notified of each and every video that I release. I share videos on management leadership and collaboration, all the skills to help you thrive in this fast paced and crazy world in which we work now. I will see you next week when I hope to be back COVID free and feeling myself again. So I will see you then. Take care.